It's just a woman base because we were waiting last. Sorry. Just, just get the uh, <laughs> calls from them. <laughs> well, if you want to ask a couple of questions at the end, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Only because it's you. <laughs> Hi. Great performance, Dolly. Where are we? There we are, yeah. Great, great, great performance. Um, do you think that was a result that flattered City? rather than yourselves, given the chances you created in that first half? I think the, f the chance... I was so happy with the way we started the game, the way we created chances, uh, big chances. We looked like we could score every time we had the ball. And because the, the, the intent was there to go forward, every time we had the ball, you, it's not about keeping it or slowing it down. It's We go for the goal, go for the kill, uh, if you like. And should have been three or four up. Then again, we're playing against the best team in the world so you have to defend well I think the way we had to prepare for this game with because you follow this team for three years and they're so hard to defend against because they're so good they are so so good and uh, very pleased with uh, how they dealt with the uh, with everything our boys all right obviously there's been some difficult performances this season but is that the best you've seen your side play since you've taken over? If you consider who we're playing against and where we're playing, and yeah, I think so. I think it's uh, it's a team. We're playing against a team with some top top players, and uh, they're going to create chances against any team. And uh, but I think we also uh, we. Uh, we did our best to make this an entertaining game because the chances we created were massive. Ole, can you just say what it means to you personally to have beaten a Jose Mourinho team and a Pep Guardiola team in five days? <laughs> Three days. <laughs> <laughs> we, do, we don't have the amount of recovery that these two teams have had. Uh, we've, we've suffered through... Uh, but uh, seriously, them 24 hours less recovery, it's hard. It's it's if you look at it, uh, the physical output that these boys put in, um, them 24 hours is is a big big advantage, and you can see that towards the end today. But personally, I'm just pleased for the boys because that they get confirmation on the direction we're going. That we are we do look like a Man United team, uh, and that's the big thing for me. Is is Fred becoming the player you hoped he would be? Where are we now? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh, there. Sorry, Andy. <laughs> Is Fred becoming the player you hoped he would be? Arguably, man of the match today. He took the ball. He's playing against Kevin De Bruyne, who's uh, probably the best player in the league. And uh, he, I thought it was excellent. Yeah, and it's so it's great to see him because the boy deserves it. He's, uh, uh, but when you get a run, when you keep uh, the team together, Scott, Fred. Uh, they've made a great partnership. Steve? Yeah, uh, Ollie, hello. Yeah, hi. Yeah. Hi. Uh, Ollie, uh, obviously a couple of incidents there, one involving Fred. He, we, we appear to be hit. Is, he, well, yeah. First of all, is, is he okay and has he said anything about that? And also, secondly, there's obviously um, another incident that's, uh, that's been highlighted of, of, of possible uh, uh, racial kind of yeah. uh, gestures against um, against your players. So, yeah. what, what have you got any comment on that? Yeah, Fred and Jesse were in the corner, taking a corner, and I've seen the video, heard from the boys. We keep talking about it every bloody week. Sorry, it's uh, but he's been caught on camera. He's he, he should, in my opinion, never be allowed into a football ground again. And I've seen the video, um, unacceptable. So I'm sure the city and uh, the authorities will deal with it because that's we keep, as I said, we we keep talking about it every week, and it doesn't stop un unless we uh, it'll have consequences. Yeah, it'll affect. It's affected both him and Jesse. Of course, they're in the corner. If you, you you'll see the video when you uh, uh, if you want to, uh, but they are. Uh, sometimes you feel sorry for these uh, people. So the, I th I'm sure they will feel sorry for them as well because it's it's an act of ignorance and yeah yeah. Where are we, Wait, Simon? Um, before the Tottenham game, a lot of people were 
commenting about your position, saying where Manchester United were, whether they'd actually gone forwards when you've been manager. Do you feel vindicated by the last two results? Or is it just confirmed that you're moving in the direction that you thought you were? Yeah, I've, I've seen uh, uh, the improvement since I came. I think the boys, of course, we've, we've had to reshape the squad, change the uh, culture of the squad, change the, play we want, uh, the way we want to play. Um, we, of course, when you prepare for these games, you see so many games. And even though I remember last season's away game, it was uh, it's not nice to see uh, the, the, that City are so much better than us. And that, of course, the, as I said, they're, they're the best team in the world. So I understand that teams will struggle here. And but today we've come away with uh, with some uh, dignity in in the. Pl uh, in the right place, yeah. Hi, Ollie. Um, congratulations on the race. Um, do just want to return to the the racism incident. Yep. Um, when England players, particularly English teams, are targeted with racist abuse. Sorry, say again. I did. Sorry. That. sorry. Yeah. When English players yep. or English teams are targeted with yep. uh, racist abuse ab abroad, there's often talk about what the punishment should be for yep. the country or the club, whether it's partial stadium closures, <laughs> closures, points deductions, that sort of thing. What do you think should happen here? Should there be something towards City? Why don't we put him uh, and educate him instead? It's not City's fault, it's his. And it's he that should be uh, educated. And uh, that, that's, my, that's my opinion anyway. Uh, nothing to do with the Man City as a football club, no. Hi, Oli. Hiya. Uh, it looked like uh, it was, uh, uh, you had a good time with, with Pep Guardiola on the sidelines there. <laughs> uh, not the, maybe the friendly a atmosphere that we expect from a derby, but seemed to be a massive respect between you two. He just praised you on the, on the press conference as well. <laughs> we are, of course, we're, uh, you've got to have fun when, you, when you've got these games. But he's, for me, best coach in the world, best manager in the world. I've admired him since he took over Barcelona. And uh, I can only say again that I think the, these are the best, the, the best team in the league because the way he's, he gets them playing, you give, they give us problems from every angle. And he's done that with all the teams he's, he's had. So uh, uh, I'll always, always uh, look up to him. Read his books, to put it that way. <laughs> OK, last question. Ollie, can you just tell us about the counter-attack and you were causing City all sorts of problems. What was your idea with that and what, what work with, went into some of those movements? No, we've uh, we've worked on them ever since I came to the club because that's Man United. It's You can call it counter-attacking it sounds very negative really because that means you that's it sounds negative for me it's quick attacking flowing football the, with the right intent and when we win it there's no use of keeping it or putting it uh, backwards or back to the keeper if the chances are there to uh, to play through them and we did some great uh, intent of passing forward and we got players with pace and quality and skill and I wouldn't want James Lingard, Rashford and Martial running at me. Uh, so we knew that's a chance for us to create chances. And we, we did today. And many of them, plenty of them. OK, guys, thank you. Thanks.